we often see many tiny creatures such as flies, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, butterflies, beetles, bees, etc. These are known as insects. Insects are the largest group of animals on the earth. There are more than a million kinds of insects that are found on the earth. They differ in shape, size, color and many other features. Insects do not have bones. All insects have three pairs of legs, that is six legs in all. Many of them have two pairs of membranous wings that help them to fly. Some insects also sit on the flowers in the garden. Insects like butterflies, honeybees and bumblebees get attracted towards fresh flowers. These insects while visiting a flower also help in pollination. When insects sit on flowers, pollen grains stick to their legs or wings and get transferred to another place. This process of shifting of pollen grains from one place to another is called pollination. Do you know insects like bee, ants, termites, they live in well organized colonies. They are called social insects. Useful insects. What? Insects can be useful? Yes. There are some insects which are very useful for us. You want to know about them? 1. Honey bee. Honey bees are one of the insects which are very useful for us. They build their hives on trees and roofs of old buildings. Honey bees are usually attracted to sweet smelling flowers. Such flowers produce a sweet liquid called nectar. Honey bees suck nectar from flowers and carry it to the hive where they live. A beehive consists of many six-sided chambers called combs. Honey bees store the nectar in these combs. The nectar changes into honey. Honey is collected from a beehive by lighting a fire under it. The heat and smoke drives the bees out of the hive. The honey collectors then remove the hive and collect the honey stored in it. Do you know? A colony of bees in a hive has about 50,000 to 80,000 worker bees which collect nectar. It also has a few hundred male bees called drones. There is, however, only one queen bee in a hive. Silk moth. We get silk from silk moth, which grow on mulberry leaves. The silk moth secretes a liquid which changes into a fine thread. The moth weaves a cover around itself with this thread. This thread is called a cocoon. These cocoons are collected and silk thread is obtained from them. Number 3. Lac insect. Lac insects usually grow on banyan trees. They secrete a semi-solid substance called lac. Lac is used in paints, varnishes, printing ink and for making bangles and similar things. Number 4. Ladybird beetle. It eats a large number of pests that are harmful for plants. Do you know, rearing or breeding of honeybees for collection of honey is called apiculture while Rearing of silk worms for getting silk is called sepiculture. 
harmful insects. Many insects are harmful to us. Let us learn about them. Number 1. Disease spreading insects. There are some insects which are responsible for spreading diseases. A. House flies. When house flies sit on garbage or animal excreta, they gather germs. They carry the disease causing germs on their feet and bodies. When these flies sit on any food item, the germs are passed on to the food. These disease causing germs get transmitted to the humans when they consume such infected food or water. Diseases like diarrhea, cholera and jaundice get spread by the house flies. We should never eat uncovered food as it is likely to have germs in it. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes and some other insects spread diseases through bites. Diseases like malaria and dengue are spread through mosquito bites. When a mosquito bites a sick person, it sucks the infected blood. When this mosquito bites a healthy person, it transfers the germs of the disease into the blood of that person. Only some types of mosquitoes spread these diseases. Malaria is spread by the bite of a female Anopheles mosquito and dengue is spread by the Aedes mosquito. Some blood sucking insects are wingless. Such insects are known as fleas. Fleas found on rodents like rats can spread a very dangerous disease known as the bubonic plague. It is very important for all of us to maintain cleanliness and hygiene. This can save us from the harmful effects of different types of fleas. Stinging insects Some insects like bee and wasp sting. A sting is located at the back of the insect. It is often poisonous and causes pain and redness in the skin. Spider and its web Spider is not an insect. It has eight legs, whereas insects have six legs only. It catches various insects for its food. Spider secretes a liquid from its mouth, which changes into a very thin thread when it comes up in contact with air. It weaves this thread into a web. The thread is so thin that insects cannot see the web. They get trapped in this web and are eaten by the spider. Saving ourselves from harmful insects. We can get rid of harmful insects by using natural methods or by using chemicals called insecticides or pesticides. We often keep dried neem leaves in clothes or apply neem or kerosene oil on wooden furniture. This helps to save them from harmful insects. Farmers sometimes use pesticides for saving their crops. Now I will share some keywords and their meaning. Cholera Intestinal infection, diarrhea, loose motion, germ, a disease causing life form, jaundice, infection of the liver, membranous, a thin sheet, pollen grain, a part of flower, secrete, 
generate fluids. Sting, a painful bite. Fill in the blanks. 1. Butterflies are attracted to fresh flowers. 2. Honeybees suck nectar from flowers. 3. The six-sided chambers of beehives are called combs. 4. Malaria is spread by the bite of female anopheles. 5. The cover weaved by a silk moth around itself is called a cocoon. 6. Bees and wasp are stinging insects. Right, true or false? 1. Insects help in pollination. True. 2. Lack insects grow on banyan trees. True. 3. House flies spread malaria. False. Mosquito spreads malaria. 4. Aedes mosquito spreads dengue. True. 5. Bubonic plague is caused by a mosquito. False. Caused by a rat. Tick the correct option. The insect that usually spreads jaundice. Answer. Housefly. Honey bees make honey from. Answer. Nectar. The sting of insects like the bees and wasps is located on their back. An insect that helps to save our crops from pests is the ladybird beetle.